right, so here's our little herb garden. So over here, uh, we've got sage. Sage is going to seed right now. Um, we've got two different uh, chives. The chives are again, uh, both of these are perennial. Come back every year. Uh, we got a little bit of parsley at the top, um, but I think she threw some marigold seeds in there, so we'll have some marigolds up there. Um, we have mint here. So this is sort of like our herb garden uh, slash like tea garden. So hopefully we'll have, uh, we'll be adding some more stuff. I actually just planted some sage, but it looks like it died. No, there it is right there. It's tiny, tiny, tiny. Not, not doing really that great, but that was, again, I grew it from seed and so I just kind of threw it in there. Um, again, here's more of the wife's flowers. She's gone around the entire house and planted lots of flowers. So she's been pretty hard at work. All right, so here's the orchard. Orchard's doing good. We've gotten pears every year. Apples have kind of struggled along. But um, when I got this house, these these pear and these are these fruit trees were like 30 foot tall. So they just kind of grow straight up. They weren't pruned. And I have heavily pruned them the last three years. And so now I really think they're looking good. The pears are in a lot better shape. They're a lot bigger. Uh, they're a lot healthier looking. I hope to get a lot more apples this year. And uh, so I can kind of start canning those we've we've made a bunch of different stuff with pears um, as far as pear honey pear uh, I've even made perry you know alcoholic drink made from pears I wasn't a huge fan of it but you know it's kind of neat to do uh, once and I made like pear sauce uh, pear bread all kinds of stuff with pears um, anyway as you can see out there I've got a few more trees that I planted I planted some plums planted some peaches I want to get some cherries um, and then a few more apples here we have our blackberry bushes and then our one grapevine Which I would like to get more of those in I bought one last year and didn't make it this year. So but anyway Got pretty nice Blackberry What do you call it Vi vineyard? I guess it's not a vineyard because it's blackberries, but just a ton of uh, blackberry rows here that are thriving doing well again they were basically, they had no mulch, they had grass growing up in between them. Uh, they were overgrown, overcrowded. And so the last couple years, you know, I've been burning the brush underneath. We've been weeding them. We've been laying down new mulch along here and uh, trying to get them, you know, tied up and uh, not so overcrowded. I actually dug a whole bunch out. And so we have a little bit of gap in the middle. So I dug those out in the middle and I'm starting them on another property that we bought a long time ago. It's a 10 acres that we eventually want to move to. Um, so I'm kind of starting already on making sure we have food on our on our other property. All right, so here's our old barn. Um, it is good for storing things. It leaks like a sieve and it's in terrible condition and probably is gonna come down at any time. I'm hoping to, uh, at some point, maybe actually rebuild this thing. I just don't know. I'm gonna have the time or the money, but that's what I want to do. I mean, it's got to be over 100 years old, you know, just by like the what they used inside, how it was put together. So I hate to just tear it down, which is what happens to most barns, but it's gonna take a little while and a lot of a lot of work to rebuild it. Um, but anyway, you know, if you kind of look around here, it's projects, projects everywhere. You know, this fence is half built. The kids' little play place over there is half built. It's just tons and tons of work, tons and tons of projects. And you know, if you if you decide to start doing this, get used to work. It's good for you. It's therapeutic, I think. Um, but man, it is a lot of work, and it just seems like you never stop working. But it's a, it's the kind of work that's enjoyable, you know. And if you get something that's you know stressing you out, and it just absolutely you hate it, then just do something else, you know. You don't have to raise chickens. If you hate raising chickens, don't raise chickens. Raise something else, or or not, you know. Just you you just find what you like to do, and then you just get into it and you do it. And it's not really work after that, to me anyway. And I think I think that's what kind of what we're made for, you know, to work. Uh, people that sit on the couch every day after they get home from work, you know what happens? I mean, they get fat and. Um, it's happened to me, you know, when I, I lived in town for a long time, I got fat, uh, I, I got unmotivated, kind of depressed. You know, I think when you, when you do stuff like this, 
you know, it really, it, it sends a lot of endorphins out. You get lots of exercise and you just really, really enjoy it. And I think more people need to do that. More people need to see it. And then once they see it, they'll want to do it. You won't have to make them. So over here we have our chicken coop and our duck pen, our duck run. So I have a few chickens kind of running around all over the place. Plenty of eggs, these are Australorps. We get a ton of eggs. So ducks are out there grazing. We got some over there laying underneath of the tree. But we really like the ducks. Not only are they entertaining, they lay eggs. But anyway, we got a lot of work to do to this, but it, you know, it's working right now. So after a little bit of work, I think we'll have a pretty nice chicken coop and duck run. So anyway, guys, that's uh, that's just kind of a brief overview of what we got going on. Um, so anyway, as I alluded to before this video began, you know, things are expensive and they're getting even more expensive. And as a firefighter, I don't exactly rack in the dough. So this is just a way to basically, you know, it's, you know, I'm in the garden and I'm kind of getting some therapy from it, but not only that, I'm saving some money. You know, it's it's elbow grease and I'm working for it. But I am saving some money and cutting some costs. If you enjoyed this video, enjoy what I'm doing here, you want to learn more, you want to kind of watch and see what I do, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button. And uh, if you want to see more, make sure you hit the subscribe anyway, guys. I'll see you in the next video.